Alex Prowse is a man troubled by his own success. Unlike most artists, he can't keep pace with the demand for his work. Yet the money and reputation he now has takes second place to the sheer pleasure he gets from painting. You have this blank sheet of paper, and what I try and do is I say, my mind is going to be blank, like that sheet of paper. And then mysteriously, because of, you could say, practice, um, years and years of working out compositions, it falls onto the paper. It literally, it's almost as though there's an energy that you have no control over at all, and wham, it happens. Alex's work now hangs in some of the country's most influential collections. He has his own gallery on a canal barge in London's exclusive Little Venice. But Alex is uncomfortable with his success. He came from a very poor background and only discovered his talent by chance. I saw a drawing one day, I can remember it, and it was a drawing by my half-sister. And I thought, that, that inspires me. It's almost like reading the catechism in some ways. It was, wow, this is, this is something else on earth that's, that's peaceful. Um, and I thought, I wonder if I could draw like that. Whatever I was looking at, I was trying to draw it. And, and that's, that sort of conceptual art started taking place very early on. And I, I realised I was getting something almost almost a religious experience from, from the drawing. So I've carried on with that. I'm now of an age that I no longer need to worry too much about making commercial statements in paint um, so people can hang decorative things on their wall. But ultimately, it was contact with water that was to inspire his work. I decided to buy a boat. I drew from the back of the boat and people would come along and buy the sketches and came down to Little Venice. And I'm so taken by the idea of having accommodation in London, which was cheap enough for me to stay in. And I've been here ever since. One of the greatest joys of, of living on this magnificent barge at Little Venice is that it gives you time for peace and quiet. And you need peace and quiet when you're painting. And the, the quieter you are, the more silent you are, the more you seem to be in touch with, with what, it's, what it's really all about. Alex doesn't stop at Little Venice. Over the years, he's discovered that other waterways around London can offer their own inspiration. The clients of mine loaned me for some time a boat on the Thames, the Mega, a little day boat. And I realized that there were some pretty amazing views to be painted up. And now I use it as a studio. There's a, a very nice view at Marlow with a, a church spire and the lock in the background, people moving around, beautiful light there. Um, so the Thames for me is quite inspirational at the moment. And to, to paint from Amiga is, is a, a, a really worthwhile and truthful experience for me. I'm going to draw in the composition. And that, that will um, then give me the concept of how the next stage is going to be, which is going to be the painting. So what I'm going to do is have a look at my composition through my window. What's so interesting about this, uh, this composition already coming through is the spire. You've got some very nice light and dark pieces which is easier to pick out with a pencil. The next stage of the composition is to transpose that onto a canvas. The experience that now starts to work on you is this feeling of, I'm not doing this. It's happening, it's happening through me. And, and actually, if you're very, very involved in what you're doing, there is no time and there is no space. You're just involved.
now as I've matured, I, I, I'm looking to spend more and more time painting. And anything that gets in the way of that, I try and push to one side. So any idea of acquisition of you know, a bigger car or a bigger house, or this, um, they tend to be pushed to one side. And, and the more, more hours I spend painting, the more I come to terms with who I really am, I think, you know, this, this creative person. The art, the art of the painting is, is now finished, and, and, that, and that joy is over and done with. Possibly in the past I'd have worked this up to a more finished piece, uh, probably to make it more saleable, but the joy of it now, it has a freedom about it, and it's complete. Oh, if it sells, it sells, and if it doesn't, well, I've really enjoyed it. Thank you.